Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program. A little bit of a pause there because I was going to use the old fourth stump, but um, tonight we're just going to concentrate on Pinot Noir for the next two, maybe three episodes. And um, tonight we've got two really big guns: the uh, the Pegasus Bay 07 from Wipra. Now the Donaldsons make um, some pretty good wine. They make uh, their second label is Main Divide, and this one. Um, it's probably the pinnacle of their wines, um, and they make pretty much everything. They make uh, Sauvignon, Semillon, um, all the Rieslings, and um, and then they make this. And let's kick it off tonight with this. And what you see is this kind of um, fairly light colour. And uh, you have to excuse my cold, it's, uh, it's a real pain in the ass been hanging around and kind of was supposed to do layman in a beverage kind of like the other night, but uh, unfortunately that wasn't to be. But um, tonight, kind of felt in the mood. Haven't done it for a while. I did a sherry, I think, yesterday, and um, you have to excuse me why I don't blow my nose. Right. Back, let's, let's kick on where we, uh, where we left off. And um, yes, yeah, so I've been having this cold, and so I did a sherry, kind of thought it made me a bit kind of better in the evening, but it kind of clearly didn't. Next day got up and still felt just as lousy. Now I'm feeling, I'm pretty on form. You get a, a kind of lilac, a lilac kind of velvety, bit of plum jam action going there. A small bit of cherry. Hardly any oak. What you get is some really good acid that goes from front to back. A nice purity of fruit and it's not in any way compromised by any kind of use of oak. Um, pretty catchy, it's got some, it's pretty firm. She's a, uh, She's tight, she's got another few years on her yet. And the fruit that you get on the nose. Translates to that kind of bright fruit on the palate. She's tasty. This is what it's all about. This is what New Zealand Pinot should be about. Pretty youthful. Slight hint of oak at the back. Completely in balance. She's funky. She's, she's rocking. She's my kind of Pinot. The next one is Peregrine. Now, most of you have heard of Peregrine. Um, it's kind of uh, Greg Hay. And it, if you've ever been in Central and you drive through your know, kind of Gibson Valley, one of the after Amersfield, you'll notice Peregrine, and it's got that kind of uh, slopey piece of architecture. Um, I'll tell you a little story about Peregrine. We did a blind tasting and we stuck them all on the table and we I think there are eight Central Targo wines there and the first one was the Peregrine, second one Wild Earth and bloody bloody but and then there was the Ripon at the end. Everybody just the first three, some of the biggest names in Central and then when we got to the Ripon everybody agreed it was probably the best wine on the table and it was the Ripon 06 showing beautifully well and at the end of the night, we're a commercial outfit, and so kind of like we uh, kind of encourage people to pay and part with a bit of cash and uh, a bit of moolah at the door, to kind of buy the kind of pinot of the night. And we're not talking kind of cheap pinot; we're talking kind of 40, 50, well, anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks. And um, the first three wines that everybody had dissed were the biggest sellers of the night. Human nature. Peregrine's got a big label and um, it's got some good brand presence which uh, I'm okay, I'll sit easy with that but kind of like the product inside the bottle really needs to stack up against against that kind of price. Yeah. On the nose you kind of got that kind of cherry, whole kind of 
real kind of characteristic from Central Otago Pinot. Got to say, slightly dull, but the the mouth. Now it's been open for quite a while. There's still bright fruit. There's a little bit of uh, tan in there. Falls away in the mid palate. Pretty average. Pretty darned average. Um, 82 points for the, the Peregrine 07. I'm going 92 points plus on the Pegasus Bay 2007. I think it's one of the highest scoring Pinots that I've ever done. Um, and one of the best out of New Zealand that I've tasted. Barring Rip On Profits Rock ATC. I'm feeling pretty damn bloody good about that. I might have to do uh, another Pinot show next. Um, let's do France, New Zealand and America Pinots. Done. Anyway, until the next time, I'll catch you later.